do we advise someone who really wants to do that, but also has this, this concern? I, th I think, you know, there, there are multiple parts to, to that. Uh, I think, you know, uh, one is that, you know, I often tell my friends in the scientific community that they have a storytelling problem. Uh, they're good with mining data. They're good with proposing the data. But, you know, people don't change mindsets and habits habits just based on data. Uh, people change habits and mindsets, mindsets based on narrative, on, on stories. And so one of the things is that the, the scientific community could really use some help in, in, uh, in uh, good storytelling. Storytelling that is convincing. Storytelling that is, you know, is... Uh, sincerely sort of representing the data that, that, uh, that the scientific community has come up with. But, but it presents in a, way, in a way that is not harsh, that is not condescending, uh, that is more sort of gentle in its approach, again, uh, to promote this sense of trust towards, uh, towards these things. The second thing, of course, is the role of governance and the role of governance within that, I think the role of religious leaders and faith leaders is that they need to do their homework. They need to have proper counseling, proper advisors who can give them good information on uh, you know, what these things are, or what these vaccines are, what's the origin of it, what are they made up of, what are these processes and so on. Having all that, we should still recognize that there is uncertainty having all that, we should still recognize that there are a lot of unknown variables, just like in life, you say. And so it's a question of making a decision or making up a choice with having some sense of comfort and confidence based on what, what are presented to us. Now, if there's too much noise and there's too much confusion, there's too much, too many different kinds of stories floating around, some much more antithetical to what the scientific community is trying to propose then I think it becomes again a responsibility of members of government and members of religious congregations uh, and religious leadership to try to amplify the more correct voices, the more correct way of storytelling 